Hey guys, you're watching because you want to My name is AJ and we are back on another episode of Let's Build Springfield. This is episode 76, so if you did miss it or you're a new subscriber, go check out last episode, episode 75, because we just done a world tour. We just went around the whole of our Springfield here, checked out every single building and uh, showed off what we've done so far over 75 episodes. It was really, really fun. Uh, so go check it out if you want to uh, suggest some buildings to do in the future. Um, yeah, check out last episode and then you won't be repeating stuff. Today we're going to be building Krababble's apartment. That's quite the mouthful, quite the twunk quite the tongue twister apparently quite the tongue twister is quite the tongue twister too <laughs> quite the tongue twister too uh, but anyway it's a really cool looking building i'm trying to fly there we go uh, it's a really cool looking building and i reckon we could pull this off in one episode so we're going to start off with the right hand side i'm using this block um it's white stained clay i know the picture is a very very white edging with a little bit of yellow uh, but I just think that this block would look better. The only other white that we've got is normal wool. Should we just do it normal wool? Let's have a look. There's that color. Or does that one look more like the apartment? I think white looks more like it, actually. I take it back. We're going to use this. And uh, the windows, if you look closely at the windows, they're divided up into three. And it looks like the left one and the right one are slightly smaller. So let's put, I think I want to use packed ice instead of glass for this build. So if I put a window in like this and uh, have this go up around this outside like so. And if I get down these ones to go around the window, we can see that by doing them four blocks wide, we should end up with the middle one being bigger than the two side ones which is what we want that's what it says on the picture at least so we'll go around the side and then we'll go up here up there oops and that leaves us one bigger one in the middle and i think that looks pretty like the picture if anything it might be a little bit tall we could drop it down a block it, i think it is a little bit tall that's a really cool looking window for a future house that's a really cool looking window that we've accidentally stumbled across to there. Let's fill this back in. I think, yeah, I think three might have been a little bit too tall. Whoops. Get it? On the move. Yeah, much, much better. That's That, that looks so much better. Okay. Uh, and now let's start with the footprint like we always do. The footprint of the place. This comes down. We have one window in here. It's a smaller one. It's a little two by two window I think I'm going to do. There. And then we have a couple of blocks of gaps uh, where, like, the end of the walkway seems to be. And then we have a door, a big red door in there. And then this is actually a little bit confusing on the picture because of the perspective that we have. It's sort of, it's not quite isometric, but it sort of is isometric. Uh, I think what it is, is a walkway through here to the back. That's what we're going to do anyway, um, but I think that's what it's meant to be, but I'm not 100% sure. Okay, what I do need to do though is come above here and work out if we had the floor, like the little walkway on this level, like that, and then a window would go there. Yeah, I think so, like that. I just need to work out for this bit so yeah no that should be good and uh, we have a door in right there as well as there and then underneath that, i'm going to do this archway the same width as the door just because i think that makes sense um no i'm going to do it one block wider yeah i'm going to do it one block wider it, I, I just look very closely at the picture and it looks like this is slightly bigger than the door so we shall do what it says and uh and follow along now we are uh, covered up at the moment on this section, so we're going to have to make it up a little bit. Now, I presume we can tell by the floor above that there's a window here, actually very close to the door. Uh, again, four blocks wide like the uh, normal ones. Two blocks high. Like this. 
And uh, I think it goes a little bit further than that. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put another 2x2 two two window in. Like the ones that we're going to have there. And then that's going to be the width of the center part of our, uh, our apartment section. Okay. And as far as window goes at the bottom here, what I might do is put a door in there. And then have a 2x2 two two window. Like that. I think, oops, I think that's what I'm going to do for there. And then this section is obviously going to be a mirror image of the one over there. So with a door coming up and around. Whoops, steady on. I'm saying whoops way too much recently. I need to find either a better or just another word that... <laughs> <laughs> because it's getting on my nerves how much I'm saying it. Uh, I even say it when I haven't done something wrong. That's the frustrating bit. You know, I haven't done anything wrong and I still say whoops sometimes. It's just becoming a force of habit to say it every few words. Like a nervous tick or something. <laughs> okay, uh, as far as how far back it goes, well... We've got two windows to put in. Maybe this will give us a better judge. I think I'm going to have three, oh, yeah, three blocks before the window starts. One, two, three, four. That one goes there. And I'm going to have maybe three blocks in the middle. Two, three, four. And then three. One, two, three. And that's the end of our building. It makes sense. It looks about right. These aren't huge apartments they're very small uh cheap apartments you know she's a uh a primary school teacher uh, she's not on the best money and uh, she she smokes doesn't she so she spends a lot of her money on on cigarettes and uh, can't afford a bigger place or whatever so uh yeah it's a it's a good size i think so that comes down there obviously this is that back door uh alleyway almost isn't it? it's like an alleyway that goes through to the back um Looks good. Looks good. Okay, so let's just bring this all up to the same height. Get a complete skeleton down. And then I can put the windows in off camera. You know you know how we do them now. I'll do a 2x2 two two with you in case you wanted to uh, build this along at home. On your own computers. Uh, it's going to be, again, with the packed ice. And then we're going to put these around the side. And they're going to go up the middle, doubled up like this. And then we're going to get the slopes to go on top. Now, we can't get red, blue, uh, white, blue, white, blue. We can only get white, blue, unless we go one wider, which I think isn't a bad plan. And now we can go blue there, blue there, white there, and white there, like that. Now, the white blends in with the building. That is a bit of a problem. Maybe we could go grey or something. I don't I don't want to go grey. Does it look... No, it doesn't look bad. Once you back off, you get the shadow onto it. It looks okay. Okay, that's good. That's good. And then on this side, it's going to be a mirror image of that side. So we have a 2x2 two two window in again here. Whoops. Stop saying whoops. Someone give me a tip on how to stop saying that. <laughs> there. And then... I think it's like that. Looks right. Perfect. Okay, let me go all the way around. Oh, let's work out the windows on the back first. Uh, that's something that we haven't worked out yet. So we'll have it like here. And then we'll have a four wide window. I think that looks good. Woo, I didn't say it. I went woo. I s physically stopped myself then. Uh, these are just going to be fill um, or, or blank. It's uh, literally an alleyway. Maybe you would uh, park your cycle down here if you had a, a push bike. Something like that. I'm going to do that a different color. Just so it's a little bit darker in there. Let's have a look in the clay. So just want a darker clay block. Yeah, like that. Just so when you're walking through it, it's not all white. It's not like walking through the entrance of an igloo or something stupid. Have that like that. Yeah, just so it looks a little bit different. I like that. 
Okay. This comes along here. Now, can we fit another window in? We can fit another window in. Do we want to fit one in? We would have to put it there. Does that look good? I think so. We shall do that. All right, let me uh, just finish this off. There's no point you staying with me uh, for this bit. I think I am going to put a window in right there. And the windows down this side are the same as that one. So it's three blocks, got a four, and then three blocks, four. I think it was like that with four in the middle. Looks right, doesn't it? Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. Okay, I'm going to get this all the way up to the top. I'll put the windows in as well. And then we'll be back for the roof and the little walkway around the front there. Alright. I am back. Let's get down a little bit of uh, stone on the floor. Something like uh, set to stone. Something like that as a little uh, entrance way in. It's looking good. I really love the windows. They look so good. They really, really do. And obviously, these will be red doors in here. What is that? 3514. Uh, 3514. Wonderful. So we can put the red doors in very, very quickly here now. And uh, obviously, I need to go around the doors with the grey again. Uh, is that all of the doors? Yeah, that's all the doors. I need to go around the uh, doors with the red. And I've also got some little notches here that we might be able to use. I got rid of the slopes. We might be able to use... Oh, they, they're a little bit big, aren't they? For door handles. Yeah. <laughs> um, what if I cut those down? Is that a better size? I just thought it was a little bit of detail. We could put a door handle on it. Oh, it needs to be on the other side. Like that. Like that. Like that, like that, like that, like that. Yeah, just as a little bit of detail. Okay, so let's do the next section, which is the walkway. This is a very uh, iconic part of the building, so we need to make sure we get this right. I'm going to bring it out one block wider, because we don't want to go next to the um, uh, slopes there. And this is going to come back... Um, Maybe three blocks, and then we're going to do, no, two blocks, and then it's square, isn't it? Like that, and then we're going to bring this all the way around the side. So it's just basically a two-block uh, two walkway uh, around it. That makes sense, doesn't it? It's nice and even then, symmetrical, feels good, something like that. And then we have the stairway coming up here. So I've got some carpenter stairs, uh, not that way, thank you. Not that way. No. That's the one. Great job. Uh, do we bring it back one? How far down is this? If we went to... Um, how am I going to do this? I need to go... <laughs> that. There. There we go. I figured it out in the end. Like that. How far down do we end up being? Because I don't want to go... In front of that. It doesn't look like we're going to. It looks like we're going to be really good, actually. And then I think I want to add... Nope. No. Not at all. Nothing like it. Thank you. <laughs> I think I want to add um, a second row as well. So another one coming up here. No. No. These these can be really, really annoying. They don't work like normal stairs. You'd have thought that they would have just placed exactly the same way, but they don't, and it's because they can go sideways. And, uh, I mean, it's a good thing for, for... Thank you. It's a good thing for the creativity, but just annoying when you just want to build it normally. And I'm going to do these dark. I'm going to do these in a dark grey, because they seem to be a little bit darker on the picture, at least. So we'll have... Those up there. And that's going to match up very, very nicely with the dark grey balcony or, or balconette, whatever you'd call it, railing uh, around the side here. Like when you want to go in the direction that I want you to go in. We'll do it that way then. Like that. That goes really, really well, I think. Okay. So we have that one there. Same thing on this side. There, 
and there. Well, you, you won't come that way. You, you're going to be really, really annoying. Oh, it comes that way. You're not going to be annoying. I apologize. You're being very, very good. Very, very good. And you're going to come that way. I need to cut a little nook to go in that corner if I'm going to be really picky. It doesn't look like there's a vertical one uh, at all down this section. I don't know if I like that. I think I might put one in. How do you like... Oh, that's because you're meant to be there. I think I'm going to put them, if we done every two, like that. It's not quite centred. If we done that, it, it's going to be as close to... Uh, yeah, I like that. I don't mind that at all. Okay, let's just cut a little one down, because otherwise it's going to really, really drive me crazy until I do it. So we'll cut those down. Put one in there. And one in there. Balcony done. Okay, next step is the roof. Um, oh, let's just put these around the doors first. Before I forget, I might as well put these around. We haven't got many doors to do. We'll just go up there for the roof. Now, the roof is uh, quite a simple design. Uh, but there's one step that takes a little while to do. We need to sort of line the inside where we're going to use the slopes. I'm sure you can see if you're looking at the picture, as long as I remember to put it on screen. Uh, you can see where the slopes are going to go. Uh, but then on the back, to make it not be quite as a sharp point, we're going to add uh, these little stone slabs uh, around the inside. It'll thicken it up. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, you'll have to hold on two seconds. That looks good. Finishes those off nicely. There's a little plant pot or something. Um, a couple of little plant pots down here. They're too small to really do them. You know, I mean, we could do something like I could put an orange one at the bottom and do that and do a red one at the bottom and do that. Does that sound good? Okay, sounds good. Let's do cut down a little red one. That one. That one. There's a red one. And we'll do, I like that, orange stained clay. There. There. And there. You happy now? <laughs> I'm joking. It was me that couldn't be bothered to do it. I'm sure you guys wanted to do it. That one goes there. That one goes there. That's as close as we can get to those sort of, oh no, they go either side of the door. I apologize. Red one there. And orange one there there you go i'll make that one a little bit taller hey, it's a nice little bit of detail i'm glad i put that in okay so let's go back to the slopes which i got rid of earlier on slopes and now we need to go around the entirety of the outside in fact it might be easier to put these down first these are gonna have to go on anyway and I can't put this, the slopes in the right spot, so it might be easier for me to go around with these first, as long as we can put slopes... Yeah, we can. I was going to say, as long as we can put the slopes onto that. So let's go around here. Shouldn't take us too long, but a full block would be too much. A full block would be too thick, I think. Um, yeah, a full block would be too thick. Um... And not doing anything would make the edge of these very, very sharp. I'll show you. If I had those down and I color these gray. You see how it's got like a nice top on it? If I do it here. And I take these away. And I color those gray. See how sharp that looks? It looks so sharp and abrupt. I, I hate it. I think it looks absolutely terrible. So you definitely need a little half slab behind it. It does mean, unfortunately, that to do the roof, which I'm going to use clay for, uh, I need to use half slabs, uh, which take forever. These take forever to put down in over a large area. Um, so yeah, I think I'm going to cut this out of me going around the outside here. And I'll also, while I'm away, put the clay down. And then we'll be right back to finish it off. Alright, I'm just finishing off a couple of last little bits, and then I think we're done. I think that's everything then. These are so annoying to paint. <laughs> you can't copy and paste them either with World that They like freak out and flip all different ways. 
It's a little annoying. Let's have this down here. This is the last little bit. Boop. And then a little bit of clay in here. Don't fall down. There. And there's a little bit of detail on the roof. Just uh, some pipes, it seems, sticking out. Really not much. I've got these cut down. I decided to go for some darker ones to get a little bit of contrast. And I think we're going to have it there and there. And that's two blocks in, two full blocks in from the end. Which should be there and there. Like that. And I think that's it. I think that's everything. I, I like how it looks. I think it blends in very well with the surrounding uh, apartment complexes that we have here. I think we're going to add more concrete. Like maybe have the concrete wrap around the side. And maybe even have this path come out the back and join up down there. Or something like that. Do you know what I mean? But I think it looks really, really cool. I don't think we've missed any details. I did see that there's like a pole that goes from here diagonally all the way up to there but we can't do that in minecraft and it's it's not going to look good if we attempt to either uh, so we're going to leave it like that if you guys enjoyed the episode hit that like button if you haven't already please subscribe we'll see you in the next episode